Let's go. You know what it is. Geeks pod. We got a focus video today. We're in the cut. What's going on, fellas? Feeling good. Excited for, for a big week ahead. Sliding over to Miami. Going to get down to business. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. The fight everyone's been waiting for. Yeah, let's go, Miami. Um, I mean, we're going to get right into it. This video is going to be a deep dive, Cheeto versus Sugar. We're looking at the main event. We're going to put a little scope on it. So, Gucci, <laughs> kind of break it down. How, what's the best way to bet uh, Sugar versus Cheeto this weekend? Well, you, you got two two thought points, really. It, if it, the fight finishes early, it's probably Sugar Sean getting the knockout. If it goes late, Sugar Sean decision, possibly, you know, Cheeto getting the late finish. So I would break it down in halves. Personally, I think this one is going to go, uh, going to go over two and a half. I don't know what the line's set at, but I will. My pick would be Sugar Sean by decision in this. I think that he's going to be more skilled. He's still, I mean, twenty nine year old. He's prime, good cardio. He'll be able to last five. I think that the last two rounds could get iffy, but from what we've seen, I think that Sugar Sean keeps looking more crisp and more crisp each time out. And then from Cheeto, we've seen him kind of get figured out and then not have a plan of action to go back like uh, against Corey Sandhagen. I think it would be pretty similar. Just Sugar Sean will be doing most of his work on the feet. I don't think he'll really engage in the grappling. Could he get an early knockout? Definitely. Cheeto could get a late finish as well, but I see this one going to decision. Sugar Sean Dub. Yeah. I mean, right on par, wearing the jacket. Well, if it if it ends early, it's probably sugar. If it goes late, it's probably sugar. <laughs> I would mean, say most likely scenarios there. You know, I don't think I don't think unless Cheeto hits a nerve or like a knockout head kick, which is gonna be tough early. I don't think he's going to get an early finish. Okay. Now that take is probably the most popular take. I feel like that's like what the, the public is definitely thinking. Um, so I'll just kind of swing in here. This is what I'm thinking on the Cheeto side of things. So Cheeto's tough. And I think, I think everyone knows he's tough, but there's a level of toughness. I mean, there's the guys, what, 20 plus fights in the UFC has never been knocked out. So a lot of people that are coming in saying that Sugar's going to get an early finish. I think that that's kind of a bat to Cheeto's toughness. I think that, you know, there's no world, you know, obviously, you know, things happen, crazy shit happens, but I don't think there's a scenario where this fight ends early. Um, I do think that Sugar is going to win a lot of these rounds early. I think that clearly he's going to be the quicker guy. He's going to be moving, but I think the time, the time is going to be the, what's going to tell us a lot in this fight, because at that third round, we're going to see how much energy he's, he's put out and we're going to see, what Cheeto's doing? Is he cutting off the cage? Is he making him fight? Or is Sugar really just getting away? Is that footwork really working? So I'm thinking Cheeto round four is going to be the most interesting ticket. Uh, just because that's the moment. Like, you know, think about like what Goosey said. Like, say it is happening. He's getting outclassed. Three rounds of getting outclassed is like, okay, fourth and fifth is like, here it is. Like, you're clearly down 3-0. You need to get a finish. So, and we've seen times where Cheeto comes out and he's got that extra fire and, you know, when he kind of knows he needs to finish it, you know, it's different. So I think Cheeto round four is the best ticket and I think he'll be able to wear the damage. I think it's plain as, as simple as that. I think he's going to be able to wear the damage. I like to call sugar Mr. Pillow hands sometimes, not, not a huge slight, but I mean, it is true. I mean, he, he sets strike numbers on guys, you know? So, I mean, you can take that however you want. Um, but I just think that Cheeto's going to be able to outlast the storm and kind of get his licks in. And we're really going to see if Sugar's tough because I think he's going to get licked back here pretty bad. So I'm interested. I'm riding Cheeto. Front, front kick fish, you've heard both sides. Unless, Goose, you have a rebuttal here. No, I would just say while, while you're talking about it, like I kind of see this maybe being a little bit of a scaled down version of McGregor Diaz too. You know, they both kind of seen each other. They're both like top of the food chain in their prime. You know, they don't like each other. Bad blood. It's going to be an entertaining show. And I think that uh, especially if it goes into a decision, it could be a legendary fight. Yeah. 
Front kick, what's what's your take on this whole situation here? All right, boys, here is what I got. On the Cheeto side of things, I like Cheeto. Uh, I think it's his time, but he's always going to be behind in this fight. That's the way I look at it. He's always going to be chasing Sean. He's going to be behind in the numbers, and he's really going to need a, like you said, CEO, uh, he, he's going to need to knock him out in the fourth or fifth late. Sean's going to have the, the speed advantage. He's going to have the movement. It's going to be real hard for Cheeto to really trap him, and he's going to be behind. So that's where I see Cheeto on the side of things. But the positive with Cheeto is the ticket. I mean, we've seen him so many times just do this, do this. He's done it, and he's done it over and over where he can he can come back, and we've seen him do it. And he's just, like you said, a tough guy. So when you see that ticket, right now it's at plus 225. I, I don't I, – I, I see maybe some people – 86% of the money is being bet on uh, Sean O'Malley right now. But who knows? I mean, there's good value in Cheeto if you like the underdog. But I think the more likely thing is Sean O'Malley winning. I think he's going to have to pull a uh, Ian Gary type fight with uh, with Jeff Neal. He's going to be, I don't think we're going to see Sean really going for a finish here. He knows, hey, my fight style is real quick. I'm going to be burning, taking up a lot of oxygen, the blood to his muscles is going to be, he's going to be fading, but if he changes his style just a little bit, just the, the tempo, he might be able to last throughout. He doesn't need to fight a crazy pace. He just needs to stay ahead of him. And, um, but, um, yeah, with Sean, Cheeto's durable. I think Sean, the most likely thing, like you said, is a decision, but yeah, that's where I, that's where I see this fight happening. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Sean at the end of the day. I'd love to see Cheeto win, but I, it's a hard, hard ask. Definitely. And you mentioned the value on Cheeto. That's the one thing about Sugar Sean being like a big fan favorite with the casuals is when yeah, he's he fights, a... they all throw money on him. So I will yeah. say Cheeto probably does have a little bit of the value. I think Sugar Sean's line is inflated here, but he should be a favorite. And I think... Six to seven times out of ten, he wins this fight. Yeah, and I'm I'm not gonna lie. I do think that the over is the over is a pretty, four and a half. Damn. So that Vegas sees it too, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, these are two tough ass dudes. So I mean, in a world where Cheeto wins, he probably does get a finish. Um. So we'll see. I mean, obviously, we haven't seen Sugar tested. I mean, against like the this crazy lineup of guys. Like yeah, he's had his couple, uh, his couple jewels these couple last few times that he's hanging his hat on. But you know these guys that win championships, their their runs are usually built with you know, you know, multiple names on the resume. So I'm intrigued. I'm not completely sold on Sugar yet, but we'll see if he humbles myself this weekend. Uh, any final notes here? I'm taking Cheeto round four just to be. Just to be clear here, but because if that smacks, that's that's juice. That's yeah, ju- I think I think that's that's a decent call too. You know, Cheeto late finish. He he's been getting it done in round four. That's when he head kicked Dom Cruz. Like he does some good work late. So I think that I am on Sugar Sean decision and fish. Yeah, sugar decision. Um, yeah, I think those are the two best bets. Sugar decision. Or Cheeto knockout. FanDuel, I know they have a, uh, you could pair around so you could do Sugar, I mean, Sugar knockout, or I mean, Sugar decision, Cheeto knockout four or five, something like that. You could pair the rounds, whatever you think, late, early. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. Well, take two. This fight might be super boring because. Dude, it really could be. They could, they could come out. Cheeto's a slow paced guy, and Sean might just match it. And like I said, I, I think he's going to just really stay on the outside. And Cheeto's really good defensively too, so it's it's we'll, we'll see we'll see how it plays out. It's going to be a a slow a slower pace than we think is going to happen. Yeah. All right, that wraps it up. Thanks for tuning in. That's the deep dive Cheeto versus Sugar UFC two ninety nine Miami. Let's get it. Boom. Sure. <laughs>